My name is Linda Miner and I'm a registered nutritionist and today I'm going to be talking to you about setting the goal of getting organized. Sorry, I'm just putting on my timer so I can keep track of how long this is going to take. Okay, getting organized for the week. I want you to take a piece of paper like this and you're going to sit down with your kids and what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line down the middle and on this side is your shopping list and here you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oops, I haven't left very good space there. And what you're going to do with your kids is you're going to say, okay, what are we eating for dinner this week? So in our family this week, we're having lasagna and salad on Monday because we've already decided this. On Tuesday, we're going to have fajitas. On Wednesday, we're going to have roast chicken with broccoli because that's my kid's favorite vegetable with cheese, so I have to remember to get cheese. Uh, Thursday we're gonna make uh, pizza with salad. And on Friday we're gonna have fish with the, my lemon caper sauce, which will be on my website, and uh, asparagus, my kid's other favorite menu item. Okay, so there's the week, plan. Sit down with your kids, your husband, whoever, and plan out what you wanna have for the week. Now what you do is make your shopping list for what you need. So I'm not going to go through all of this, but basically for the lasagna I need noodles. I'm going to need some mozzarella cheese. I'm going to need some tomato sauce. Um, I know I have eggs, um, parmesan cheese. I'm going to want to get some of that. Of course, if you have this stuff in, in the fridge already, then you don't need to get it. Salad, I need to remember to pick up some lettuce. Um, and some lemons for the salad dressing and the rest of the ingredients I have. Okay, Tuesday, I need to remember to pick up some wraps and some avocado and salsa for that and maybe some red peppers. And down the list we go, okay? So you don't go to the grocery store and walk up and down the aisles and think, what are we going to eat for dinner this week? You've got your list. You've made this plan on Saturday and Sunday. You've got it all sorted out. Um, and what I always recommend is that you make enough on one day to have for lunch the next day. So I make enough lasagna so that then I have leftovers for lunch the next day. Or even, I'm going to show you, we're going to make a lasagna right here. Make one this big, but then when you're done, you can cut it up, put individual pieces in the freezer, pull it out at a moment's notice. When I make roast chicken, at the end of cooking, uh, eating dinner, I always pull off the extra bits of uh, chicken that are left on the bone and uh, make it into chicken salad to have for lunch in sandwiches the next day or on top of a salad. Excuse me. So there it is. That's how you make your shopping list for the week. And then what you do is you get a pair of scissors, cut this down the middle. I'll just fold it. And this goes on the fridge. So now you know your plan for the week. You know what you're doing. And when your kids come home from school, they're not saying, Mom, what's for dinner? All they have to do is go to the fridge and say, oh, it's Tuesday, we're having fajitas. All right. And then uh, they can even help to prepare for that because they already know what's going to happen. Now, when you're organized this way, this has gone in your purse and you or wallet, if you're a man, excuse me, and uh, you've taken it shopping. You're not doing anything spontaneous or ridiculous. You've saved a whole bunch of time because uh, you're not going up and down the aisle and standing there thinking. You already know what you're having for the week and you even know you're going to have leftovers probably enough for the weekend. So then next weekend you just start again. This is going to save you time, money, energy, and frustration. Okay, so how easy is it to throw this together? Okay, let's say it's Sunday afternoon. Now if you want to make lasagna, if you only want to make two servings or three servings, use this. About six servings, that's what I would normally make because there's just three of us um, that size. But if you know maybe you're going to have, uh, you got a big family, you got people coming over, I'm going to actually make a big one and stick it in the freezer so that um, it's there and available for me whenever I want it. So here's how easy it is. Just gonna, I don't even cook these ahead of time. I just throw them in. Now there's enough to put one this way, but it's a bit long. Snap it. There we go. This is my favorite spaghetti sauce because it hardly has any sugar in it. It only has five grams of sugar. Watch your spaghetti sauces. Most of them have a load of sugar in them. Uh, usually, I'm just going to pour about half of this in here. About half, a little more. Uh, usually, I like to make it homemade. And if you go to my website, myhealthybalance.com, you'll see my uh, recipe there for uh, tomato sauce. It's so easy. It's tomatoes, 
olive oil, garlic, basil, salt and pepper. Okay, so if that's already made up, great. Otherwise, you know, if this is on sale, then I will grab it and just spread that out like that. Okay, that's done, Put that in there. Next layer of noodles, so easy. I also buy the whole wheat noodles. I haven't been able to find multi-grain noodles yet. I'm sure they must exist, but um, they seem to only come in whole wheat where I live. And then the center, which now has tomato sauce in it, is basically, let's do this here, two eggs. Where can I put that? That's going in there. Sorry, I need to grab a tissue for my hands. And then cottage cheese, that's what I use for the center. I don't use any meat in my lasagna. You can if you want, if you want to fry up some ground beef and uh, mix it in with the um, tomato sauce ahead of time. The other thing about tomato sauce, which is great, is you can hide anything. You could steam up some broccoli or um, any kind of vegetable at all, steam it up, mash it so it's really nice and mashed up, or if you've got a blender that you can throw in the, um, the, the uh, or the food processor throwing you the spaghetti sauce with the mashed up vegetables, um, that will uh, help to hide them and then your kids don't even know they're there but they're getting extra vegetables. I put eggs in with the cottage cheese uh, to thicken it up when it's cooked. And then, as you can see, I'm not one to really measure. <laughs> there are measurements on my website. Um, that's probably about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I buy the Parmesan cheese at Costco, great big tub like that. Doesn't cost much money. Again, that helps to uh, thicken up the mixture here. Okay, we just pour that all in there, like that. Spread it around. See how easy this is? How long have I taken so far? About five minutes. First couple of minutes of that I was talking. Okay? This is how easy it is to prepare a meal ahead of time. And if you're really smart, make three or four of these at once and stick them in the freezer and have them ready to go. Another layer of noodles. And you know your kids can be doing this. I've taught my kids how to make lasagna. I don't even have to do it anymore because they know and it's one of their favorite meals. Okay, we still gotta snap that down. Pour on the rest of the tomato sauce. Where's my spoon? Oh, sorry for that noise. Get that all out and spread around on there. Oops, some of it kind of dripped down the side here. Spread that out. If you like lots of tomato sauce, you can uh, use two jars if you want. Uh, I find it gets really runny if you have too much sauce. And that's about how much I like to use. One more layer of noodles here. And uh, I use the rest of this to just fill in the empty spaces here. Actually, I probably needed one more noodle here. I usually don't uh, have that extra bit there. And then the, because um, I use the smaller pan usually. And I mix uh, mozzarella and cheddar together because that's just what I like on the top of mine. And uh, this meal is basically ready to go. Well, how much time do we have left here? Yeah, did that. How long did that take? So I got organized. I made my shopping list. I knew that I wanted to have lasagna on Monday night. And uh, as soon as I got home from shopping, let's say, get the lasagna made, it's ready. I can either stick this in the oven or stick it in the freezer and dinner's made. You do not have to buy prepackaged lasagna, which is full of garbage and full of chemicals and preservatives and probably MSG and other ingredients in it that you really want to avoid for your family. This now is gonna serve 10 people maybe and uh, dinner's made in 10 minutes. And half of that time I spent talking. Okay, set the goal to Get organized, make your shopping list, make your food list for the week, prepare your food on Sunday. A lot of it you can prepare ahead of time and relax for the rest of the week and enjoy your dinner.